Okay, Atasha Lee Elbeck, The Simple Truth LLC, have another testimony. Queen, would you just introduce yourself? Um, the... My name is Ayana Sanders. I'm from Atlanta, but I live in Savannah. Huh. Um, Tell yeah. me about why you're here for your visit today. What brought you here? Um, I've been, I was first diagnosed with thyroid cancer when I was 18, mm -hmm. um, in 2014. Um, then it was straight out of high school, so I didn't get to enjoy um, my birthday or anything, so I had surgery. It was crazy, but, um... And they removed part of your thyroid? They did. They left my parathyroid, which deals with calcium, um, but they did take out some, some lymph nodes and all my whole thyroid. Oh. So I'm having to deal with hypothyroidism. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm on Synthroid right now, and it does affect my, uh... Uh, I guess anemia or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that I'm dealing with that too. So yeah. temperature. So your thyroid is gone. So your your whole thyroid is gone. Whole thing's gone. And what did you say they leave? They so, they left my parathyroid, which I'm not sure why they left that, but they did. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess it can stand alone by itself if mm -hmm. it's not harmed or anything. But I would rather they were going to do it rather than take the whole thing. Well, one so. thing about one thing that's good about that, like when you take the whole thing, then you're gonna be on these drugs forever. Ever, yeah. To balance <laughs> your own, because your thyroid balances a lot of things. So, okay, so um, tell me about this. How long has it been, um, like recently, the surgery and and and, and the problems of it? Okay, so the problem that rose that I really was hoping didn't. Um, it was maybe two months ago. I started feeling pain on the left side and I started to see it be swollen and um, it would hurt to the touch mm -hmm. and my throat itself wouldn't hurt but it was the discomfort of swallowing okay. it would make me not want to eat or drink so um, I went to the doctors and I'm still going through it now um, they said they ran tests and I mean a lot of blood work um, being pricked almost every week and um, they said that they didn't see anything. Yeah, my levels were off um, mm -hmm. with my hemoglobin and my, is it T1 or T, T, T1 or something? But anyway, deal with my thyroid. Yes. That was kind of off. Um, so the main thing they said that they don't want to tell me is cancer. Um, they did find a nodule on the right side. I was complaining about my left side, mm -hmm. but they found a nodule on my right side that's like 1.7 by 1.1 centimeters. Mm -hmm. um, and I have a very enlarged lymph nodes on the left side. Okay. So my body's trying to fight something, and mm -hmm. they're thinking it's, um, what's it called? Uh, cancer, but they don't want to tell me yet. Right. Um, they set me up for a biopsy, but it hasn't been scheduled yet. So it's like... I've been through this so many times before. It's like I'm, I'm over it. Yes, I really am. So well, today, um, on the left side especially, what's your discomfort level from zero to ten? Ten being the worst. If you um, touch it or whatever. Yeah, I can touch it. Um, it went uh, the the pain went away, but it's still swollen. Yeah. Um, the soreness, tenderness. It was tenderness maybe like four or five days ago, which was like maybe a three. Mm -hmm. Um, but. Right now, it's it's calmed down. It comes and goes. Just to gauge so, it, well, put a number on it. If it's two or one, even if that. I'll say about three. Okay. Yeah. Um, you have any trouble swallowing, and the food thing that you were talking about before, and that's that's not an issue anymore. It when it, I don't know what is wrong. Like I don't know. <laughs> like okay. it's it's confusing, and I just want it to be gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to be mm -hmm. normal, at least a little bit. Sure. So we're going to do light therapy today. We have your uh, herbs for thyroid aid and um, alpha omega mm -hmm. for cancer cells. And then we're going to um, do some light therapy. And then we're going to do a video afterwards to see if you notice any difference. Uh, okay. Significant. Okay? Right. Okay. So I introduced you to Quantum Light. And um, you were able to hold it on your neck just mm -hmm. for two minutes. And now after you put the Quantum Light down and you press it on your neck, what is the difference? I don't feel pain. It's... Even if it was the slightest pain in my neck, I don't, I can actually like rub it, like a real deep rub. Where yeah. on this side where I was, it was the main discomfort on this side. Uh -huh. And you just held the crystal to that part of your, your For neck. For two minutes. And then now you can rub deeper yeah. and push harder. <laughs> we can push hard. Like, like, like. Also, I got to tell you, well, I guess. And do right there, but I just wanted to see how you felt just with Quantumite first. Okay. Awesome, thank you.
Oh, the pain level is it zero now? Or it's, it's it's zero. Wow. I, Just from holding the quantum for two minutes. It's it's zero. I try to tell people. Okay. Okay. okay we're back. We did um, a session of light therapy, and um, just just tell us what your experience was and the difference. Um, during the time, it was I felt vibrations and pulsing, mm -hmm. especially in the center, in the right side, and some on the left side. Um, when I came in, I had a persistent cough too and heaviness in my chest. Um, now I don't feel the urge to cough and mm -hmm. Or take a breathing treatment, but it's it's not heavy anymore. Okay. Like it, it doesn't feel like it's congested. What about like to the breathe. touch? To the touch. They're fine. It's everything feels no pain. And before we had like a three, the quantum I brought it down a little bit for you, and then the light therapy did it bring it down more. Like, it definitely did. Okay. It definitely did. Anything else special that anybody out there that never had like therapy may want to know, kind of get them off the fence if they were thinking about it? Try it. <laughs> I would say try it if you have anything that's in your body that you feel like needs to be solved and you're not getting the answers like me. Um, definitely try it. Don't be skeptical about it. There's so much stuff in the world to be skeptical about and this is not one of them. So non-invasive, non-intrusive. I didn't poke you with needles. No. Nope. I didn't. And I'm constantly take getting poked with needles. I see, so. I see, I see. <laughs> So it was easy going. It was really awesome, nice. awesome. Okay, so we'll be back next time you come. We're going to keep up with your story and um, keep track of what's going on with the thyroid and take your herbal supplements. And we'll talk to you in a few days, I guess. Sounds good. All right, peace.